Hey everyone, Dr. Joe Ferrantelli here with Posture Screen. And I just wanted to give you a high level view of the iOS application so that way you can see how it works and what it can offer uh, in general with your clients or patients um, for your assessments. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in, okay? So the first thing obviously with Posture Screen is that you can use it for doing your assessments for either a quick evaluation, a two view or four view assessment. And the best of all, nowadays, if you have a supported device that supports augmented reality on the iPad or the iPhone, you can go ahead and do automatic assessments and you can check out how that works. Basically, it's movement tracking all done on the device itself, which is truly remarkable that we can do this. So think of it as an assistant for your assessments. Really, truly cool. So here I have the iOS version. And if you look here, these are all different evaluations that I have for the same patient or client, okay? So the first thing that we can do is I can look back at our initial exam and we have training videos on all of this, but I'm just going over the highlights on this. I can do a, a, a two view, view of her, back view, left view, and generate the results. And I can generate a PDF document for the client or patient that can be totally customized that will have your information. You can even remove the posture screen logo if you're on the unlimited assessment subscription. Change the colors. Maybe you don't like the way a phrase is in our PDF document, you can change that, okay? Now, if you did a four view in a clinical situation or more thorough if you're a gym trainer, personal trainer, you can also do a four view. What's great about that is it gives you a lot more clinical data. Now, you would never send this to the patient or client, but this is for your own records. And we go through that and we even average a sagittal balance from left to right. And you can put in client notes and of course, that's your static two view. Moving on, one of the things that we can also do is we can actually predict body composition. Yeah, you heard that correctly. Accurate body composition from two opposing photographs. We have a patent on that because we know it's so valuable that this will be a game changer, being able to do touchless body composition and also generate waist hip ratio. So if I went into somebody here, went into her case, we can actually predict their body composition and their waist to hip ratio within a very narrow margin, within three or 4% on average to even DEXA. If a person is within a 10 to 30% range, we're pretty darn close from a photograph, right? Now this opens up a whole nother realm. We have a remote app for clients, so you can do this all virtually. So you can test somebody's body composition and waist to hip ratio from photographs that they upload through our remote screen application, or if they send you those photographs. How cool is that? Try that with some of your, your uh, body composition tools. Can't really do that unless you're in person, right? Best of yet, you can use our tools with whatever you use. So if you use calipers, if you use a, a, a BIA, like I say a tinnitus scale or an in-body, continue using those products and our system will also average those results pretty awesome. So that's the two view, and of course we can generate a lean screen PDF document that goes through, and again, this can be customized, average percent body fat, body mass index, and waist to hip ratio, which is probably the most important thing that you can have on your client. Now cool to the fact that, check this out, I can then also do movement assessments. So we can video them, especially with augmented reality, it will track them in real time for say an overhead squat from the front, from the side, from the posterior, a push up and plank, one legged squat, pretty cool stuff. And then you can also annotate on those. So let me pull up somebody. I'm just gonna pull up their lateral squat. Okay, so we have the lateral squat and what it does here is if you look down on the bottom, it says possible overactive or underactive muscles. How cool is that? Just from digitizing, that sees that shows that they have an inadequate forward lean, right? And then best part is that you can also play the video for them and show them how they actually move, okay? 
So you have the start and end position plus the results and you can generate that document as well for any of the movements, right? So this is something that is the next level. Now, if you have a web exercises account, which is through an affiliate company of ours that we work with, it's not our company, but if you have a webexercises.com account, you can have your exercise library synced to our device. And once you have an assessment on posture or movement, you get a corrective subset list for you to choose from. Now that's pretty amazing. So if I go through and say, say to myself, self, I want to look at this lateral squat and I wanna prescribe corrective suggested exercises. Check here, it says suggested exercises. Now these are all correctives that we've narrowed down based off of their dysfunctions. So I can come in, I'm gonna prescribe a clamshell. We'll do three sets, it's fine. You can change the sets and reps. And we'll go ahead and give them that. And we'll also give them a flexor stretch, okay? But what if I go back to their posture? So if I go back to their posture and go into their posture, if I wanna prescribe correctives for her static posture as well too, hit exercises, I'm gonna to add to the correctives. So maybe we'll give them a forward head posture exercise. And these are um, CBP mirror image uh, content uh, through CBP seminars that we have unique license to be able to offer that with web exercises as unique to our app. So unique, truly evidence-based posture rehab exercises. So I'll scroll through and I'll give them, we give them a, a, a mirror image exercise there. So now we have movement assessment leaded, led to the corrective exercise protocols for you to narrow down. Now, you may already know some of these things, but how easy is it for me to be able to come down and send, I'm gonna go ahead and send the exercises just like this. And then this is gonna get mailed right to the patient. And that patient is going to have streaming video on how to do their corrective exercise program. Now, even better if you have their professional web exercise account, and if you want a demo of that, just go to email support at web exercises and contact them through their website. But you can even do compliance tracking to see, are your patients or clients actually doing these correctives? Now, if you're a personal trainer, this is not meant to replace you by any means. These are the correctives that you need to have them doing on all the downtime, right? If you're a clinician, these are the correctives that they need to be doing at home, okay? Not during the office visit. Get them started during the office visit, unless you're doing rehab in the office then. Add this and augment to what you're normally doing with the equipment that you have. Pretty amazing stuff. Now, here's the best part. I wanna do a comparison. So you can do a comparison if you did an outside of the event to um, when they come into your facility. You can compare that, you can compare anything. So I'm gonna go in and let me just do a comparison on a posture. We're gonna go posture screen. I'm gonna go down and choose her initial here. And I'm gonna do just the two of you. This is a patient friendly report. This is the only report you really should send for posture for your patients. And of course, on this one, we did the more advanced settings. So if we look here, we can see that we also measure her kyphosis. We measure what's called CVA angles. We're measured from PSIS to ASIS, that angle as well too. And we're measuring also Q angle. So that's all being reported. But on the patient, let's just make it simple. Where they started and where they're at, okay? Education builds confidence in you as a practitioner, okay? And guess what else we can do? I can turn around and do a comparison on a movement. So let's go ahead and do a, a movement assessment. Uh, let me, sorry, comparison on a movement assessment. And if I want to do side-by-side -side videos, I could do that. Or I could just generate a report that goes into your, your note system. So we're going to go ahead and do a lateral squat. And I'm going to choose these two and preview. And there's the results before and after, maybe an intervention, right? So pretty powerful. Moving along, we can also do seated uh, posture assessments as well too. We can do that remotely. So if you wanted to check somebody's ergonomics at their desk, you can do that as well with our tool, with our remote screen application. And if you add on a structure sensor scanner, we can even do 3D body composition. And I'll, I'll show you a little bit about that. Let me go ahead and pull up uh, somebody that actually has a body composition. 
we're gonna come in and I'm gonna come in here and no, notice we actually have a full replica of their body, right? So I can see where their markers are and the best part about this is that you actually have a replica of the patient and this, the advantage here is it will measure circumferences, okay? Pretty awesome. And uh, so that's one other tool that you have in your toolbox when using Posture Screen on the iOS platform. And most of you will use our unlimited subscription so you can do as many assessments on up to 10 devices as long as they're under the same Apple ID, okay? For one low price. So that is the general overview of Posture Screen available on the iOS App Store. And if you have any other questions, because there's a lot more that our app can do, just feel free to email us at support at Thank you.